What do you think? Oh, look at this. Fedoras, yes, I love fedoras. This might be the worst hat ever. I sure hope you guys watch this week's uh, Galaxy's Edge update that we do because I just got a whole bunch of cool footage. Um, there's some new details emerging there, and I, I'm kind of excited. I have, you know, it's hard to see because it's very bright out here and everything. But I'm really excited to see how this looks in post because that was kind of exciting. There's a there's a new like uh, arch in development that I mean it's giving it's giving the whole thing more depth than I would have expected from that area so I'm excited about this I hope you guys did watch the Galaxy's Edge update if you did go check it out because it's probably I don't know where we are on the show right now but it's right about the time when I should be doing it so check it out Fresh Baked. Well Fresh Baked uh, we're gonna take this show down to New Orleans Square well we're already I guess we're not down we're here right yeah we're here we're, we're technically we here already we're that fast we're <laughs> dude we're super fast Port Royale curios and curiosities uh, Ian said he laid eyes on um, a possible toy. Uh, do you think it might be here? It's either here or it's in Fort. It's a toy. It's like a, it's a dune buggy toy. So we're going to keep our eyes open while looking out for anything else new inside Port Royal Curious. That's new. There we go. It's a Haunted Mansion jersey. Have you seen this? Happy Oaks. Oh, I like that. I like it's very simple on the front, just yeah. Madame Leona on the front, and then the jersey number on the back. Oh, uh, that's the back. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, it's the tag. I would have preferred it the other way around. Don't the, yeah. the numbers go on the back? Uh, you would think, but I'd see, like, by the way it's you, cut and the tag. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Dear, dear Disney, could you please switch that? That'd be Have great. Have you seen this though? By your own. Is this new? Tombstone. Uh, newish. Put this on your front lawn during Halloween. Yeah. Or in your home if you're Sarah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, I, sh I showed it to her and she was like, <gasps> "Welcome to the haunted mansion." That's nice. I like that. Well, this is 35, by the way, and the jersey is. 36. Right away, they got a new mo Oh, look at this. Okay, who's the artist? Um, actually, it might be Jeff Granito. Yeah, because he's the guy that looks like, uh, what's his name, right? He's a little bit of a shag. Kind of, I mean, of he, does, he also does a lot of stuff where, like, very dark colored backdrops, but with very almost neon pop art color uh, yeah. or palettes. No, this is great. Liz would love this too. Yeah, I think it's Disney World that has it right now. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll send me that image and then I'll put it in the. And then maybe you can find. It. Can you buy it online? Maybe. Maybe through the Disney shop. Through the yeah, shop Disney. Shop Disney Park. The bride returns, Ian. What do you feel about the bride being the uh, the villain and not the victim? I wouldn't mind so much if the actual ride in the retraction looked better. The effect on ours does not look good, and it hasn't since they tr first tried that projection. Yeah. They, they need to do something. The like new that. Black Widow ride, or whatever they call the, her. The projection or... just doesn't look good. Yeah. That's not looking no, you're right. You're right. Maybe since next year's the 50th anniversary of the ride, they could clean that up, maybe? Do you think they will? Huh? Well, here's another one. I have no thoughts they will or won't, but it'd be nice if they did. You know, Disney should give us more light so we can properly vlog this stuff. Make a note of it, Disney. Hashtag influencer. Yeah, uh, Disney, fix the jersey, give me more light in the Haunted Mansion gift shop, please. But not in the riot, it's too bright during the right, holiday. No. During the holiday overlay, it's too bright. And no, the, light the holiday overlay, the, the holiday is just right, I think. Well, the problem is then when they go back to normal, for a good couple of months, the lighting's all out of whack and it's too bright. <laughs> what do you think? These are pretty new, right? Yeah. It's supposed to be like the tightrope walker, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He never loses his head. Oh, look at this. Are these the ears that I've been hearing about? What? This is like a Mickey hat. So this is a hat. Oh, it is a hat. Band. But it is a hat. I've not seen that before. Does it glow? 
I mean, a black yeah. black white glow, probably. Well, like here, yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, yeah. it's white, yeah, under a black white glow, yeah. but it just at night, probably not. Doesn't look like it. What about the maddest hatter of them all? This Maybe. is this stuff is pretty good. That's eighteen dollars uh, for the uh, or seventeen dollars for the mug. Yeah. I'm liking that. This is interesting. I don't understand the color choice here. No, I, I definitely don't. Right? It seems a little too whimsical. I don't really care. Actually, I don't care for the design so much. So. Well, it's a ghost. No, I get right? what it's supposed to be. Yeah. But I don't care for the design. Yeah, I don't, I'm not feeling that shirt either. They got a lot of new shirts here, and they've got a ghost will follow you home shirt. Can't tell if that might glow. There, I don't. There, at least I don't know There were a couple of passholder shirts that had passholder in big old letters in a haunted mansion. Design. You know, I'm with you on that. I saw your tweet on that. I'm like, yeah. you know what? I, I think just like, maybe just a simple AP even. Even the logo. I don't need something that blatantly saying, "Look at me, I'm a special person." No, it's just make a cool yeah. thing that happens to be exclusive. It's kind of elitist a little bit. <laughs> it also just doesn't look good either. No, you're right. Same it's a lot of screen real estate. Yeah. Same with those the, the yesteryear shirts where they're cool retro designs, but yeah. they really that really ugly yesteryear's logo on the yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. Mike, just put that inside where the tag is. Yeah. Put there. Yeah. Then I will buy that shirt. But not if you start sticking stuff on it. What about this one? It's all right. Also, that's Florida's mansion, by the way. That's not ours. <laughs> It I is, you're right. Or, Florida or Tokyo, I should say. Florida, that's so it's Florida. not ours, that's but for yeah, sure. It's not ours. Ours Certainly is not the ours. Southern Antebellum Mansion. Yeah, that's yeah. the more brick, okay. spooky right. mansion. Oh, look. This might be the worst hat ever. Yeah, I'm not into that. Holy heck. That's... Okay, last year, last week I thought the Dory hat was the worst hat ever, but this... Well, to be fair, we know what the real worst hat ever is. Well, it's the Jack Skellington. Yeah. They still sell. Did they find a like, shadow of him for me? They might no, just wait till Halloween gets here. They just have them in because like, they gotta get rid of them. I have to assume that they don't sell well. They're just still getting rid of the stock they have bought. You think? Bought. They just keep bringing it back out every year. No way they're popular. No <laughs> way. You don't see people with them all over the place. I, I've you seen a see few. Them? Yeah, because they still about sell as well. many people who wore the cone hat or the or the mater hat. Point being, you don't see them all over the no, place. No, you don't. Like, I, Do you think I, we'll be seeing anybody wearing this one? Maybe occasionally. That stuff is just gonna come off. Yeah, it's, right? Yeah, no, it's not like stitched super well. I could just rip that off right now. But fedoras, yes, I love fedoras, and this just a is a haunted mansion. Very subtle. I like it. Uh, I will try it on good. right now, but I'm sweating bricks, and I don't want to oh, ruin somebody's yeah. show. <laughs> yeah, don't don't do that. Someone's gonna buy that later, and even yeah. if it's tried, how much is that? Have? These are. 30 bucks. 30 bucks. I may have to get one of those. I found two things I might want to get. One of those and this Haunted Mansion book right here. I may walk out of here with that book right there. My but brother has that one. Does he? I may walk out of here with that. While we're at it, Ian, I think this is fairly new, isn't it? Uh, New-ish. I, <gasps> I want to say we pointed this out when we did, you see when we did our price penny machine. But we, did, we didn't we came over here. We didn't use it, but I remember pointing this out to you. Oh, okay. At some point in the past, I definitely pointed this out to you. Yeah. I don't know when. I don't know if it made it into show. But I definitely, at one point in my life, <laughs> yeah. pointed this out to you. Oh, look, now it's so animated. I love these new ones. Of course, now they cost 50 cents, right? Well, because it's a pressed quarter, not a penny. Uh, That's why. Where's that spider? I want to see that spider. These are... They're haunted. The, the pennies are haunted, Ian. We're gonna stay here all day, fresh break, until we see that oh, spider look, again. So each of them has a different hitchhiking ghost on the back. Oh, okay. So it's these on the front. Yeah. Well, because usually there's like just like all. Usually when they do yeah. fresh paints, there's one thing all on the back or just smooth on the back, uh, and then one design on the front. We have right. different designs on the front. Right. So that's different for front and back. And it is fifty cents. Is that right? Yeah, oh, it's a dollar. For a dollar. My goodness. I guess you gotta pay for the hauntedness of it. Dollar, so essentially, haunted you're smashing one quarter yeah. and paying three others. Yeah, yeah. Also, though, because that's a quarter, it's gonna be hot when it comes out. That thing is gonna burn your hand. A fire. Well, we're, I guess we're not gonna wait for the spider because I wanna look at these socks. Are these socks actually stretched? Yes, yes, they are. God. Dude, look at That's like. Is the back okay? So it says this. So it does all four are there. Are this is a wild sock, dude. There's not like a regular heel, so those are actually going to stretch. Yeah, they do stretch. Really 
But it actually it's almost built. like a like something you'd see a hundred years ago. Yeah. Downside being that it looks like this kind of material when it stretches, you get that like yeah. what yeah. you can see. It has only printed on. You know what? You're only gonna wear these eight times in your life. So. And there's no heel on these either. That's what I'm saying. There's no heel, so everything's gonna stretch weird. I guess that's so you can wear it either way, showing the different paintings. Yeah. Because if it was one. Oh, is there? Because they have oh, it's the best oh, okay. Too. So the pair has all four paint. Yeah. Quick stop at the, as Ian called it, the jack half of the store. It just sounds funny when you say it out yeah. loud. Uh, they got some new shirts here for Oogie Boogie and Jack and stuff, but we noticed that there's a, a definite lack of the, uh, the Jack Skellington hat. Yeah, the pumpkin hat. It's not here. Hopefully, we've seen the last of those. It's an awful, awful hat. Let's go next door to Pieces of Eight. To see, uh, you know, they gotta have some new redhead merchandise out here, don't you think? Hopefully. Well, look at that. I like these retro shirts. That's kind of neat. That one is kind of yeah. neat. I like that. That's the Hogwarts shirt. Essentially. <laughs> this is the shirt I don't endorse. At least we, at this park. At least at this park. But then, I mean, if they're going to put shirts with the wrong castle and the wrong yeah. mansion on it, I guess we should well, just I mean, give up that fight. Well, I mean... Remember when they had, they actually still did the mug with the no, Right, that's what I mean, the, the wrong uh, castle. Cinderella castle. Cinderella's castle in front of Walt. I mean, it would be, it's the fact that you put Walt in front of it, right? Yeah, I mean, did he, us, even, he never lived to see it. That's no, no. I guess the idea is that it was his vision. I'm like, yeah, at Whatever, that point, that, he was no, dreaming of Epcot at that point. His, yeah, his vision was Epcot. He was dreaming of actual city. Put him in front of Epcot if you want to do that, yeah. Now, this looks to be about normal stuff here. I don't see anything redhead. Did you ever show off the pirate's door? This remember. is what I want to see more of. Yeah, I can't remember if we ever showed you guys this, but Funko does sometimes does parks, Disney parks way and stuff. And they have a Dorbs ride of the ship with the Jolly Roger with the skeleton. That would look pirate. great on a book show. They actually did an almost identical thing for this for that that Disney Treasures box. Yeah. Only during it was like the original Blackbeard pirate instead. Oh, okay. Instead of skeleton, but the ship was. Was the his same. beard burning? I mean, the pot the pot was not on fire. I suppose I could have <laughs> set them on it, but I didn't want to do that. How much are these? These are thirty, 30 bucks. bucks. Now, question. Well, I like when they do the Dorbs rides. Those are cool, especially for They're parks because you get a ride vehicle. The the indie one was good. But they know that was pop. That was a, a pop ride. Yeah. 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 I think the New York Comic Con last year or the year before, they did a Mr. Toad's Wild Ride before yes. pop yeah. ride. Um, I was just saying this would look really good on a shelf. Yeah. Would you take it out? I mean, I took the one for the treasures out. Okay. Because you kind of have to, right? What's that? I mean, that one. I'm a, I'm a toys out of the box club kind of guy. Yeah. With only a couple exceptions with like older stuff, I know I'm not going to pose or if play with. Right. If you bought it to collect it. Yeah. The stuff like Black Series figures, I can pose them. You can do fun things yeah. with them, right? This would, go, this would come out of the box for me and onto the shelf. I don't anymore. What is that? Who's this? Um, I can't remember if that's... Oh, that, yeah, that is Shag. Oh, it is Shag. It goes right there, so that this is the same, this is the same part for that. Because that's neat. I like that. Shag meets the Punisher. <laughs> I don't think that's what he was going for. I don't think that's what he was going for. A hen for a ten. Every one of them an egg layer. <laughs> that's what he's saying like right now. Golden egg. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying, oh my god, everyone an egg layer. That's great. I mean, no, forever gonna do that game night because I still have this. Oh my gosh, yeah, Ian bought the the, the pirates back. Like at this point, a couple of years ago now. Yeah, it's been a little while. Yeah, a long while. They still and they still sell the haunted mansion life. You'd have to go to Florida to get Tower of Terror uh, mm. clue. Or oh whatever boy. It was. I think that's it in this shop, Ian. I think we there's not a lot here. I, I was really hoping. Not like that changes. There's where's the redhead stuff? Why can't we get some new redhead stuff? New stuff? It may be in the works, but it's not here. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh Daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh baked!